Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have another inspiration that I want to share with you guys. This I received from Hello Susan. I absolutely loved it. She had all kinds of little goodies stuck in there, and I thought, hmm, I like that. There's her handmade by Susan Woods. I like that, so I think I may give it a try. Now, I'm going to give mine a try to have some little pockets and things in probably my journals but you could also do these to send off for happy mail and just stick a few little things in there and put them in the mail for happy mail lots of different things you can do with this so i may make a few different sizes but i'm not sure exactly how she did hers <laughs> but i played around with just some um, magazine pages to get some different sizes and not to waste my good paper so that's what we're going to use is well we're not going to use magazine pages that's what i used to play with we're going to use some nice paper and see if we can turn out a few of these now i realized that i think she started off with a square if i'm not mistaken i don't think you can do this exactly this folding if you don't start off with a square at least that's what i'm going to do so let's get started making a few of these uh, let's see first off I think I will use this this is that other part of after midnight designs I'm gonna cut this into a square and again if you are first time watching me I apologize if there is an echo in this room uh, we are about to have some remodeling done and everything is out of my shop right now except me and my desk <laughs> and a few tables so it's kind of a bare shop at this moment but um we will be back to normal hopefully soon hopefully the echo is not too bad on you let's see I'm trying to decide what size i want to make this one i think i'm going to get my other trimmer and i'm going to trim this one a little bit larger Let's see what we can do here. And I'm going to try my best to be careful and sit everything down slowly so that there's not too much of a echo on there. My husband has draped some, <laughs> he has draped some big towels and things around me to try to keep the echo down. So we're doing everything that we can right this minute, but I've got to get some videos done. All right, this is, it's right at eight that way. So I think we can cut this one eight by eight. So let's go ahead. I want to try to get these flowers on there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down to eight inches. Ooh, I'm cutting some flowers off over there too. Well, it can't be helped. Got to cut them one way or the other. I will save that part for a little belly band. That's cute. And now we're going to cut it at eight this way. And I may just go ahead while I got my trimmer up here and cut a few. That way we can put a few of them together. Now, everybody asked me when I use this trimmer, what trimmer is this? This is a Fiskars rotary trimmer. I love it. I, I always go back to this one. I have used lots of other ones. And I like some of the other ones, but I always go back to this one simply because number one the blade is a rotary blade and it stays sharp forever it doesn't dull real quick so i like that part about it because i use trimmers constantly and i can't i can't just keep putting new blades in them all the time so i like that part and it will cut through even chipboard you know if you've got um chipboard that you need to cut it'll even cut through chipboard so i like that part too let's see i think i'll make this one five and a half since that's about the width of my paper and then i'm just going to cut this down to five and a half now i i'm thinking that this paper um it's from betty and that is betty's custom designs on etsy i'm pretty sure this is hers I'm trying to decide which way I want to cut it. I don't want to lose anything. Isn't that terrible? I don't want to lose anything. And I will also make a few of these probably. So that's going to be a little small one. I'll make a few of these out of pattern paper as well. And that way we can see the difference in 
the different papers. I'm sorry, I was looking away from the camera. Hopefully you heard me. Um, I'll make a few out of just regular 12 by 12 pattern paper. And we'll, it'll just show you the different ways that you can make them. Now, I'm not going to make it that big because I really don't think I could use one that big unless I did send some happy mail. But we may make it um, maybe an 8 by 8 Let's see what that looks like on this one. Now, this is single-sided, and this is that collection. I don't know if we have any more of this. I absolutely love it. Um, this is the, what is this collection? This is the one that's going in the AJ kit. I can't remember the name of it right now because I just threw away that little bar strip. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, botanical journal, maybe? Um, this one is going in the AJ kit. I don't know that we don't have this one up in the shop right now. After everybody receives their AJ kit, we may put a few of these up. I'm not sure just have to kind of wait around and see <laughs> uh, let's try one more I think I want to use and this one my little granddaughter got a hold of and she actually folded it on me but it's okay I think we can still use it so how are you guys this morning I am okay uh, we fared well through the storms thank the Lord um, they kind of went above us and below us. So thank you all for your prayers. We really appreciate that. I hate it that there are some people that did have some damage. I don't think we had any loss of life, though, so that's great. But storms is just, you know, we're, we're kind of used to them because we live in this area. And they're going to, this time of year, it's going to happen. So let's see, what size do we want to make this one? I don't think we've made a 7x7, seven seven, have we? Let's try one of those. 7. Right there. This is also from Betty's Custom Designs. And I hope I get all of these right. If I, if I say a collection and you look at it and it's not your collection but it's somebody else's, let me know in the comments below. I, I'm sorry if I do. I try not to. I try to keep them all in my head, but my head right now is it's very full all right right before we get started i want to say thank you to a few more people i try to do this every day and i also send out thank you notes but I'm, I'm a little bit behind on that so just be patient with me this is for those people who have clicked on our link below for buy me a coffee and have give a small donation to our youtube channel just to keep everything going forth and help us buy some new equipment and things like that um so I try to thank these people on the videos. So we have Dawson and Company, P.A. Morton, Shannon, Nelaney, Shannon F., Maxine D., uh, S.E. Gatlin, I think that's the uh, name, and then Sheila McDowell 66, T. Bannon, uh, B., C-A-B-U-S-H-A-R. I don't know how that's pronounced. A lot of these are, are not names. They're um, like email accounts. So I just copy down the first part of that. So that is B-C-A-B-U-S-H-A-R. Eva Cinnamon 1115 and Nancy. Thank you guys so, so much for your donations. We really appreciate it. And everything is going right back into our YouTube channel our um, cameras and microphones and everything to make this channel even better for you guys. All right, so let's get into this. I think we're going to start with this one. Let's just start folding with this one. Now, you have to kind of find your center to know where to fold these over to. So I go ahead and do this because really this is not going to show. I just fold a little bit right there. And then... I, and I don't know how she did it, but this is this is my little way of doing it. And I felt a little bit right there. And that gives me a little bit of an X right there. Maybe you can see. So it shows me where to bring these over and fold. Now, I want to figure out how I want to fold this in order to get the... There we go. Like that right there. I'm just trying to get the dragonfly to fly the right way. 
Okay, I'm going to put a little dot right there. That will just help me and hopefully you see where that center point is. And like I said, I'm not sure this is how Susan did it, but this is my feeble way <laughs> of attempting her project. I hope you guys don't mind me trying to recreate your projects that you send me. I absolutely love them, and I, when I see them, I'm like, oh, i got to do that. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but... So all we did... It's folded these over to that center point like that and then folded this one up So there is our little pocket thing now mine look a little bit off As you can see this side looks a little bit longer than this side, but you know what? What do we always say? We're not gonna worry about it I'm gonna do it like that and Then we're not gonna worry about it That will be fine not gonna worry all right, now I think we need to glue this down. And you need to glue just right at the edge of this so that you don't close up your pocket. So I'm gonna grab my Barely Art glue and I'm just going to put a little bit down through there. I don't want it to squish out and close up my pocket. And a little bit down through here, like that. And then hopefully these are going to close up without closing my pocket. If I folded them up enough. You may have to fold them a little bit more. Well, that one's not catching like I want it to. So let's put a little dot right here. And then, see I should have probably folded them a little bit more. Make sure that when you fold that bottom one up, that you've got a little bit of room to put your glue on there. So that they will close. All right, that closes like that. Now, what we're going to do is do a little bit of embellishing, but I want to cover this because I don't want that plain. Now, she used a paper that was double sided, so she didn't have to cover this inside, but since I've got some single sided paper, I'm going to cover that. And let's see if I can figure out what I want to cover it with. You can just use your scraps on this. We could probably cover it with that right there. So let me cut this and I'll just insert that down in there and we'll cover it with this pink. And this again, I think this is from Betty. Uh, if I do, I do think it is. I think it's maybe the uh, first collection that she sent me. She, I've got more collections that she has sent me that I've just got to print out. <laughs> I am so excited that I love each and every one of them. So I'll be getting those printed out just as soon as I can and we'll start using on those. Probably will be when I return from convention, but uh, we'll get those done. Now I need to see about, okay, I need to cut it a little bit narrower, which is fine. I just don't want to cut it off too much, so I'd rather whittle away at it a little at the time and make sure that I don't cut too much off of it. Let's cut it about right there. I think that will do. Yes, that is just right right there. Now, I think... I'm going to use this top part and save this little bicycle for something else. So what we're going to do is just cut about like that, I think. And I'm guessing at this, so bear with me. All right, let's see if I need to cut a little bit more. No, maybe that'll work. Oops, look, I didn't cut it quite long enough. Make sure that you cut it for your point. All right, what are we going to do? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put lace over this anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that little spot right there. What do we say? Not going to worry about it. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this right at the tip. And I'm going to glue right here. You can see where my grandbaby 
wrote on the back of that. Isn't that sweet? Their little handwriting. Okay, then we'll lay that down. And then all we're going to do now is flip it over. And I'm just going to trim right at the edge of that to trim that part off. Just like that. There we go. And now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and stick a little piece down in here. Let's see what that would look like if I did that. Let's try it this way. I really don't think you'd be able to tell, so we're just going to do that. Let's lift that up, put a little glue down in there, and then let me pull it back out. This is what you do when you don't cut your paper long enough. There we go. I'm just going to press that down good. There. Now, once we put our lace around that, nobody will ever know the difference that Edith messed up. Okay, that is so pretty. Isn't that back beautiful? Um, I am gonna ink around this. Before I put my trim on, I'm gonna ink. Okay, now I think I will use some of this black trim that one of you guys sent me to go around this. And let me see how Susan did this. She put it up through here and then across the bottom and then around through here and she used different trims so but I think I'm just going to use the black all the way I believe <clears throat> the black will go with that writing right there so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put it up through here first The different colors would be pretty but i don't have another i mean i guess anything goes with black but um, i don't really have another one that i think would look okay with a black piece like that so and anyway this is fine i like using my black trim when i can because it's not everything that you can match up black trim with sometimes you you don't need a black you need that soft those soft colors all right we'll put that there i'm going to put that one right there we'll trim all these little excess pieces off in a minute cute i like that that's sweet now i'm just gonna trim this at a little bit of a point now these scissors are i have people that ask me about these scissors all the time because they say i see you go from paper to ribbon to material and it all cuts these are the tonic they're the tim holtz uh, haberdashery scissors and so they're made to cut material and paper and whatever else so and i they've not got dull yet i think we still have some of these these are the i think six inch ones or maybe seven inch and i love them i use them for all of my cutting of my trims and things okay now let's see i want to put some and i could have gone i guess straight on up with that but that this works. I'm going to put some right up through there and then right across there. So let's see. I'm just trying to look as I go to see what exactly I want to do. Got a glue glob in there. All right. And I'm not too concerned about my little meeting place right here because I am going to put something there. I don't know what exactly yet, but I'll, I'll find something that I can put there. And see, I think that is cute already. OK, 
Okay, now let's see. This, I don't know, I may run a different color there and a different color here. And then let me see if I have anything that's not just stark white that would look okay there. I've just got a, a bare minimum of my trims right here because most everything is already in storage. You know, I don't think that would look bad. This is kind of a brown. So I don't think that would look too bad. Let's see, see what this looks like first. Oh me, I don't know. I may have to go with that. I kind of like that with the black. Okay, let's just do that one. Okay, let me clean out this little spot right here. There we go. And do I want to run it that way or that way? I think I want to run my little scallops up like that. There we go. Find my scissors and we'll trim that off. Oh yeah, I don't mind that at all. And then we'll go ahead and run it up here. So a lot of you commented, and I'll go ahead and talk while we're putting this down. A lot of you commented when I said something about shirts. <laughs> when I asked you, because I had had a suggestion that we carry some shirts with my, as they called it, my famous sayings on it. You know, not going to worry about it. Um, let's see, I don't know what else I say. You know, sometimes you don't know what you say until somebody else brings it to your attention. But, um... So I talked with the staff last night, of course, that the staff meaning my family, and uh, they seemed to think that that was a great idea. So I think we will check into getting some shirts done up and have them available in the shop if you want to purchase one. They'll have our, our name, our logo on them, and then it'll have a famous saying either on the front or the back. We haven't decided if we're putting the the saying on the back or on the front. We're trying to work with a guy right now that's uh, doing the designing for us. So he's, he's going to show me two different designs and we'll decide which one we'd like the best. <laughs> but um, that's because of you guys. You're the ones that's, that's asking about it. <laughs> I just thought, well, that, that's a good idea. You know, I wear shirts just about every day that say, that has our logo on it. But I had never thought that anybody else might want to own one. Let's see if we've got a butterfly or something in here that we can put right there. That would look okay. Um... And these ephemera books i have tutorials on those they're usually always linked below if you want to check those out oh my goodness look at that now these are like a dimensional butterfly one of you guys sent me these again most everything that i use comes from you these are these are beautiful and i have not had a chance to use these but i think that's going to work right there and I'll show you how dimensional they are. Let me pull these little wings up. Look at that. Aren't they cute? So I think that looks good there. Okay. I am going to put, you know what, a little bit of bling down the center. And I think I have some crystal bling in here somewhere. Or maybe even this white. See what that looks Oh, yep. Yeah, that's it. This is some trim that came in the February um, e-club kit, I do believe. We always try to put some stash builders in there and some things that you can just use over and over again without having to, you know, without you running out. Things that you can just keep using. 
Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, then I feel like we need some little something right there. Um, maybe a little phrase or something like that. So let's see what we have. Let's grab our little these are our phrases that we have here. Let's see if we've got one that would go well on there. Okay, look at that. I think that will work. This is one of the washi stickers. And those are always linked below as well. So let me find my little pick tool. I love these. I catch myself using these on just about every project, but you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of something and not anything big. And this fits the bill. Now let me see if I can get it in the right location. Not like yesterday. Okay, right there. Start at the top this time. Take it down. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that goes so well with that. I love it. And then we could put just a little label right there like that. So let's do that. This is just from the Tim Holtz Field Notes. It's just little blank labels. You could put some journal in or journal in. I don't think you could journal in these. You could um, put just a little word in there or something to a friend if you were sending this as happy mail. Okay, there you go. So that is one, isn't that sweet? I love it. And this would still go in your journal, even with that, because it flattens out. All right, let's lay that one aside. I'm gonna do a couple more. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's see, let's grab our paper that we cut. I think next we will use this paper. This is from After Midnight Designs. And I'll tell you the name of it in just a minute. Let me find my little note. It's buried somewhere. This is called English Rose Garden. <clears throat> Excuse me, English Rose Garden. Look at that house on there, isn't that beautiful? Now, I think I want, well, I want those flowers to show. So I think I'll bring them up this way. Even though that's gonna be upside down, I don't mind just want them to show so that I'll have some little a little bit of color on there too. Now I'm going to bring it a little bit past that dot this time and just see if that helps me a little bit as far as gluing everything down. And then this one I'm going to bring up just a little bit like that. Okay, that looks a little better, I think. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna burnish those edges down really well. Yeah, I like that. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, looks like it's folded a little bit better too. So let's go ahead and put our glue here. And yeah, I switched to my art glitter glue only because my Barely Arts glue was running out and I didn't wanna have to stop in the middle and refill it because I still haven't refilled it from the other day. I've used a lot of it and I love it. Uh, we do have more of the art glitter glue that'll be coming in once we get back from the convention. So that will start back shipping right now. I think we're completely out. Now I'm going to cut this little tiny tip off right here. Just cut it off at a just straight across like that. And then we have more of the Barely Arts coming in too. So whichever one you prefer, they should be here. Now, some people are asking me, what's the difference in the Barely Arts and the Art Glitter Glue? 
I'm truthfully, and I'm going to be truth as truthful and honest as I can with you. I can't tell a lot of difference. I have used both of them for a while now, and I'm not really seeing a big difference in them at all. So, you know, you might um, might check both and see what you like best. Some people like one better than the other, but I'm not seeing a big difference at all. Now, let's see. I'm trying to see what that would look like. Uh, that's a little bit off. So let's see. If we, I'm going to try to find a scrap right here in some of her pieces that I have been using. And by the way, this kit of hers, that's not hers. This kit of hers is huge. Look at this. <laughs> it is huge. So if you need a large kit for a large journal, this is it. This kit is very big. And I think I printed out all the pages. Who knows? I might not have. But I think I did. Just seeing if I have another scrap. I don't want to cut into another piece of paper. Hmm. I don't think I want to use this because I want to use that on something else. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go in here and pull out just this and I think I'll put a piece of that in there maybe or I know you guys are like just make up your mind already I just you know me I don't want to cut these papers I want to hoard them I'm just going to use this one to cover the inside with so we're just going to cut that and then we'll try to come up with some flowers to put on this. That would be pretty. Those little pink roses are absolutely beautiful. There we go. Go ahead and cut a piece of this off. And we'll try to see if we can get it long enough this time. How's that sound? Alright, let's make sure it fits, and it does, and I think I will just glue it right there like that, and then cut that off, because that way I'll make sure that I get it all the way down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue right here, down through here, and across here. And then I'll just press it down. My towel disappeared. There we go. And then we'll flip it over and trim this. See, these come together really fast, and you can make up a bunch and not even, you know, decorate them, put your embellishments on until you got ready to send them out or use them in your journal. Isn't that pretty? Like I said, this is After Midnight Design. She sent me this file and asked me would I do a review on it, and I am absolutely in love with it. <laughs> I've been, I have been using bits and pieces of it now for a while, and I love it. If I used the complete kit, it would blow you away because she has so much in this kit. So many pages. Let's see. I was looking for... A little piece that might have more of these little pink roses on them. Okay, she has these words in her kit as well. So I think I'm going to cut out some of those words, but I'm also let me see what was I just what was I just thinking? I'm also going to put something else down there too. And again, I'm going to reach for these. Let's see if I have anything pink in here that would go with these little pink flowers. I want to bring that color up to the top. I'm not sure I have pink. Hmm. I have that little bit of pink, but that's not quite large enough. Those are the smaller ones. Um, and this, I'll just let you see as I'm flipping through. Now we have this little butterfly, whoops, butterflies, I should say. 
and I'm not sure that's that looks more a little bit more purple than it does pink well it's got her kit has got a little bit of that purple in it so we may use that I may just use a large green plant let's see what that looks like and then the butterfly on there maybe like that let's see what this one looks like I know it's yellow and there's very little yellow in there but hmm nope that one's not working for me Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one. This is a, just a very brittle looking brown, but you know, that brown kind of goes with these. And when you imagine an English rose garden, sometimes I imagine the um, plants when they're in the fall and they're just starting to lose their color and all turning brown. So I don't know, that, that's just my imagination. And let's see if we can get this down. I think I want to put it just right there. And just tuck it under there. Yes, I like that. And then the little butterfly, which we've almost glued down already, we'll stick him up there. We could probably come up with a different color butterfly, but I kind of like this one, so I'm just going to stick with him. He pulls in this little bit of purple that's down here, or lavender. And you know, sometimes those little butterflies, they're just trying to get that last little bit of nectar out of those plants before the fall. Oh yes, I like that. And then we could put... Let's see, I don't know if one of these would be too large or not. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit and see. Maybe not if we trim it. I'm gonna trim it quite a bit and just see what it looks like. Oh, I'm not completely sold on that the black with that, so let's see what else we have in here. Don't know if I have anything that's gonna work or not, but we'll see. Let's try one of these. These are Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. These are some of her labels. Yeah, I like that better. It's just, it's a very pale, well, you know what? I might like this one even better. So let's cut this one. I'm indecisive today. I'm sorry, guys. It's one of those days where I want a lot of different things at one time, and I can't do it all. all right, let's see what that one looks like. Well, no, I'm going right back to the, uh, the one that I had first. Do you do that sometimes? Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you do too. You don't think it looks right and you cut another one and then all of a sudden you put that other one down and it's like, nope, that doesn't work either. So let's go back <laughs> to the one that we started with. I love that. Love, love, love it. Okay. We're going to ink around it and then we're going to choose some lace to put around here. And this is going to be another one finished. Now on this one, I would like to have just a little pale pink lace. And I'm not sure I have any of that in here because they have taken all of my lace to storage just about. I have this little pack here, this little basket. All right, I don't have any pink in here and I sure don't want to have to go dig through everything out in the 
storage so let's I've got this braided trim oh I like that now I don't think it would look good on everything I think it would be a little much so I may just put it down across the bottom and then up on the top this is that glue that I'm using is Fabri-Tac glue it's the best glue to hold down your trims and laces and material. Okay, then I think, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run it at the top, around the top. Like that. Oops. Don't drop it in your glue. And I don't think I'm going to be able to fold this one and get it over, so I'm just going to have to cut it. Now I folded that other one right here at the top, but this one is a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to do it this way. Now to keep your braided trim and things from fraying at the end, I use art glitter glue. And I put just a little bit on the end and then I just kind of pack it like that. And when that dries, that will keep that from fraying. I do that on all of my trims. I don't heat them or anything. I don't put any fire to them. <laughs> my luck, if I put fire to them, I would end up burning the whole card up. Okay. Now let's see, where did I cut that one off? Let's cut it off right there. Put a little bit of glue on that end. Like that. Oh, I like that. I know my top looks a little bit crooked here, so let's see if we can pull this trim out just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I like that. All right, let's see. Do we want anything else up through there? I'm not sure. I don't think, but let's look. We could put this little tiny trim up through there if we wanted to. It's almost the color of the background, so I'm really not sure it's going to show. I'm looking in the viewer here to see. Hmm. I don't think that it would show enough to put that on there. Let's see if there's anything else right here that we want to look at. This one has a little tint of green in it. So what do you think about that? I'm not loving it. I'm going to leave that without anything on it. But I am going to put a little something right here. Um, I just don't think that needs it at all. Let's see if we have a little cute little butterfly we can put on there. Just right there. Even that, well, we have another butterfly up there. So we may not need a butterfly. What do we need? Ooh. No, those are not going to, I don't think those would work. That little bird would be cute. Let's see if we have a little bird in here that we might could grab. I haven't cut out a lot of little birds, so not sure. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to use? I think I'm going to use one of these buttons. These are the buttons that, some of these buttons will be in your AJ kit, the ones of you who purchased one. And I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these buttons. Just trying to find the one that I want. I like that one. But I like that one a little bit more. So, and these are just vintage buttons. Oh, I see one I might like even better. Whoops. Whoops. 
Yes, that's here right there. <laughs> All right, now I want to put some string in that. So let's see if I can pull my string down without pulling everything down on top of my head. Uh, what kind of string do we want to put in it? I think I'll just do a little bit of this white here. This is just some little cotton string. Yeah, I think that'll work maybe. Let's see. We can get it up through here. And you could stitch this on. I'm just going to pretend that it's stitched. And I'm going to go through twice, I think, maybe, if I can. You know what? I think I'll just double it and go through like that. Let's, if it's going to go through, I may have to put it in my needle. May have to. Okay, there we go, and we'll stick it up through that side. There, we've got that. Now I'm just going to tie a little bow in it, I hope. The reason I say I hope is because I never know if it's going to work. My fingers are big and the bows need to be small. So <laughs> big fingers and small bows don't always work together. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to clip that little part right there off that off and we'll glue that right down there cute I like that and you could just do a single if you don't like that double knot or double string I just like to have a little bit more since those holes in that button were so large but it doesn't matter okay Make sure that doesn't glue our pocket shut. And there is another. Isn't that cute? So the, any paper is going to work. I mean, look at this. All of these papers are different. They're so pretty. But they all look great. All right, guys. I think that's it. I think I have taken enough of your day to make these. Now you know how exactly how to fold them. Just make sure you start out with a square. Doesn't matter what size square, just start out with a square. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Susan, for the inspiration. Make sure you let her know below how beautiful her kits are, her digital kits, and how pretty this is. We will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.